Hey guys, Alec with Remnant Performance here. Holding the camera is Moody with Performance Unleashed. We are now onto the home stretch. Okay, we are actually about to go ahead and install both our hot side piping and our turbo. Now, before we do that, there is a big harness here that runs to the fan trout that is very, very important. Uh, you need to remove it from its original mount location. I think it's right about here. Move that down here because we don't actually need that in the spot here. We will zip tie this to the fan trout to get it out of the way. But before we do that, we've got to get this harness into a good location. This is kind of how it is right there. Normally, it's got this little uh, clip in there. Pull that out. Then, you want to go ahead and remove the uh, ground, bolt. ground bolt. And, we will go ahead and move this up. Ground needs to go up here onto the side. Right. This is going to put a lot of strain on it, so we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to get the strain that will be released. There we go. All right. Could use the impact. For some reason we thought it was a good idea to use a wrench. We're tired. We do it crazy here. All right. Now, we need to get this uh, whole harness and this line here thermal sleeved all the way back here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and grab some thermal sleeve. Again, comes in the kit, you get like 20 feet of this. So please go ahead and use it every single place that you can, okay? So let's go ahead and thermal sleeve every way. We want to thermal sleeve from all the way back here, all the way through and up to the connector. You do not want to melt this. This is very, very crucial, very important. Okay. You can do two, one of two things. You can try and take the connector off and then try and squeeze this over it. And it may fit, it may not. But just like we did on the other uh, wiring before, just don't even worry about that. Just slice it and uh, then just install it with the tape. A lot easier. So we'll go ahead and measure that out. Looks to be right about there. We'll take our scissors. The scissors are right there. A good pair of scissors goes a long way, by the way. It does indeed. Don't get the dollar store ones. Yeah. You're spending quite a bit of money on this turbo kit. You might as well spend the right amount of money on the tools as well. Yeah, indeed. Slice it up, and go around it here, it's actually underneath, there's actually a uh, clip in here. So we can probably pull up as well so yeah. you can get more flexibility. So we'll pull it back, and the clip is out. Okay. Good, and we can actually uh, keep it just like that. Okay. Now, I will go ahead and I will remove this unit from it because there's no reason to have that clip on there anymore. That is not going to be sitting there in the body. So I'll take an X-Acto knife, something like that, just kind of work it in there. go. So professional. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's get this up in here. Round up there. And what? Did a pretty good job. Now I'm just going to get the other one off. And we'll be good to go. Be careful when you're doing this to not actually slice the harness open as well. Yeah, you don't want to do that. So if you don't have an X-Acto knife, a pair of snips will work really, really well. Really, really well. Yeah. 
We just don't have that right now because everything is strewn around. We're trying to install this whole kit. Everything's flying around everywhere. Yep. Like he said, we do it crazy around here. Do it crazy. All right. So now that you have everything kind of out of the way, you can do just like we did in the last time, like Moody demonstrated, and you can take a piece of gold tape on each end and kind of get it tied up. Once it's tied up into place there and then kind of, you know, in, in that area, then you can go ahead and do the full wrapping. So uh, we're going to do that for that section. I'm going to go ahead and then before we do that, we'll go ahead and do this other section here. Measure this out. So we kind of got a good feel for it. And then we can, uh, we can go ahead and do that and then we'll do taping all at one time. And we'll send you a picture at the end of this part so that you know exactly what it looks like. Fairly straightforward though. Yeah. And uh, this, that right there, once this is done, you are ready to go ahead and put on your hot side body. So real quick, Alec, when we're done wrapping it, what's going to hold this harness up from falling down into where it's supposed to, where it usually sits? Yes, good, good call. Really. Um, once we're done wrapping it, what we're going to do is going to take a couple of zip ties of the many, many, many zip ties that we give you. Never enough. And uh, Yeah, never enough. Uh, once it's all wrapped, you're going to take this, pull up on that, like this. You can see this pulled the slack out of the way, and you can go right here. You can also, again, take it up from here since we've removed the uh, clip at the back and pull it up like that. And you're going to want to use this little mount right here to get it nice and out of the way. Okay, and we'll once again show you exactly how that looks when it's done. When it's done. All right, so we've actually finished successfully wrapping everything you want to again when you're doing the wrap you want to get all the way up and high as here as, as high as you possibly can uh, and you can see we wrapped every last bit of this all the way to the fan uh, connector now we noticed something that was funny when we were going through this here you see this this is the brake line it's kind of when you try and pull it up here it kind of pulls down on it and makes it nice and taut, we don't really want to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, disconnect this entire harness from the fan, disconnect it from, uh, what's this part over here? Is the wheel speed, wheel speed sensor. sensor. Yeah, wheel speed sensor. Disconnect that all. And we're going to run this entire harness underneath, back underneath this thing and over the top. Right? So let's go ahead and look at how we do that. So just so you know, these will all be disconnected except for this one because this is your washer fluid reservoir, this is your fog light, and this is the washer fluid level sensor. This right here is the, you know, the most difficult part to get to, and it's really not that bad with a small flat head. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your flat head right here. You see this little, you see this little tab right here? You're going to take the flat head, and you're going to pry down with it. And that little tab is going to come out from the bottom. Sometimes it'll give you a little more trouble, especially if you're one a northern car. But yeah, it's really not that bad. From here, this is where the connector mates up. I'm going to put it back in so you can see it. But right here, you're going to push this in and pull out. Okay. And if you look at the tab, this is how it is. It's got two winglets right here, and you just have to take the flathead. You just have to take your flathead and push down on the winglets and pull at the same time. From there, this harness is ready to come out from the top. And now, you're ready to relocate it. And what this is going to do is move it away from the turbo as much as possible in all of the hot side piping so that you're guaranteeing nothing is going to get burned up. Remember how we said this is the most important part? This whole harness goes to your fuse box goes to the fan, it goes to your washer fluid, it goes to your wheel speed sensor. So any of these wires get chewed up, you're going to get a lot of codes. This is going to be the tough part. And, you know, of course, in the last video, we actually put this ground bolt on. So we're going to take it off again. Womp womp. And we're going to reroute everything. And then put it on again. Once again, impact driver would make this 
ten times faster. And look, it stays there. Whoop, whoop. Isn't that great? So from here, I'm just gonna push back this way. Some space. And you get this fan harness connector pushed in as much as you can. This is gonna be the toughest part. You're gonna have to finagle it a little bit, but it will go through. And there, just play with it. And you want to make sure that you're not really putting that much strain on the brake line. The brake line is metal, it's got some flex to it, but you really don't want to bend it to where it's going to stay in that position from now on. So, it's going to require, if you have an extra set of hands, that'll definitely help you. But, you know, if you don't, it's whatever. Branches out, the other branches, and like I said, you really don't want to tug to the point where you're going to, you know, damage the brake line or warp it. So you got to be kind of strategic with how you do everything. So I'm just taking this small harness out first. There's the connector. So, the next step is to take all of this stuff. Hey, there we go, thank you. The next step is to take all of this, and run it as close to this way as you possibly can so that it's out of the way of everything else. So, you wanna make sure that this is connected first so that you know it's long enough. Great. And then what we'll do is, before we actually zip tie this part down, we will go ahead and get the hot side piping in, then we can figure out exactly where we stand. Exactly. Okay. You don't want to zip right. tie it, you want to zip tie it and then figure out, oh no, it doesn't fit. Yeah, yeah. So now that we've done this section, uh, we're ready to go ahead and put in the hot side piping and the turbo. All right, let's start that process. <laughs> 